Hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night. Today we're going to be breaking down a few freeze frame transitions, breaking down some of the secrets and techniques that these top editors are using. So yeah, let's get straight into it. First clip I wanted to go over was right here where they use a freeze frame of the watch and actually zoom out of the watch. So yeah, right here, I'm just going to be using the exact same clips to recreate this effect. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is go to this clip with the watch and we're going to duplicate this layer. Now I'm going to right click, go to time. And we're going to freeze frame this layer, grub over this. It's just completely frozen. Next, we're going to go back 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is how long we're going to overlay it. So I'm just going to drag this over and trim this. So it will overlay over the last clip and then go straight into this clip right here. So the next thing we need to do is actually mask out the center of the watch. So I'm going to double click to open up the layer. I'm going to go ahead and grab the pen tool and just create a mask of this watch right here. You guys can be precise as you want with this but since it's moving it doesn't really matter how precise it actually is if you guys are going to have the mask on the screen for longer or you just really want it to be clean you guys can obviously take more time with it but i'm just gonna go with a rough mask like this so now on this layer you can see we only have the center of the watch but we actually want the outside so i'm gonna go down here to masks go to the mask one and i'm gonna hit inverted yes now we can close out of the layer you can see that our clip is actually in the background there i'm gonna go to the freeze frame clip right here and hit this drop down then we're going to go to the transform go to our toggle switches and modes and this one is the 3d layer we're going to turn on the 3d layer now we can move it in three dimensions next we're going to go to the position and keyframe it at the very beginning now at the beginning we want it to be zoomed all the way out so i'm going to take the z value right here and i'm actually going to decrease it to move it towards the camera while i'm doing this i'm also going to adjust the position so that the watch is in the center we want to get it just so the watch is barely out of frame so here it's in frame and zoom it out so it is out of frame. Now we're just going to go to the end of the clip and set the position back to where it's supposed to be. So 960, 540, and 0. Now if I scrub through this, you can see it starts with no watch and then the watch comes in. And yeah. Now this isn't very smooth, so I'm going to highlight these keyframes. and going to keyframe assistant, easy ease them. Now I'm also going to toggle the motion blur. And now if I play that back, that just looks so much smoother. And we are actually coming out of the watch. Obviously we want the watch to start with the centerpiece inside of it. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this freeze frame layer. I'm going to go down to the masks. In the mask one, I'm going to uncheck the inverted. So now the center is in there. I'm going to go to the very beginning of the clip, go to the opacity. And to begin with, we're going to have it set at zero. Then we're maybe going to go halfway through the transition. And this is where we want the watch to fully come in. So we're going to set that to 100. I'm just going to highlight these and easy ease them. Now playing that back with the opacity change, you can see that it zooms out and comes in with the watch and the watch fully comes in. So the last thing we need to do here to make it a little bit more natural is actually zoom out the previous clip with the watch and it'll just make it flow a little bit better. We can do that super easily. Go to the transform. We're gonna start it at 100% scale. It ends here. I'm just gonna decrease the scale to around 33. Now playing that back, you can see that our previous clip gets smaller as this kind of zooms out and goes into this watch clip. But yeah, that's the first transition right there. So the next freeze frame transition we're gonna be going over is this one right here, where Baby Tron just kind of slides to the side with the freeze frame, and this one's just buttery smooth. He fades out right here. Yeah, right here, I've just got the exact same clips, but I just cut out the transition, and we're just gonna reuse these clips to obviously recreate the transition. First thing we're gonna do here is duplicate the second clip. Right click, go to time. And we're going to do a freeze frame. Now we just want to mask out the right side of the scene. So everything from Babytron to the right. I'm going to double click on this to open up the layer. Again, I'm going to grab my pen tool. And just going to go ahead and mask out Babytron right here. Now that I've got it all masked out, I'm going to go ahead and close out of the layer. And I'm just going to slide this over here. Make the transition 12 frames long. And then it will go into our second clip. So there's not this empty space right here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate our original clip. I'm going to drag this out of frame. And I'm going to right click and go to time and freeze frame. So now we want our subject to slide in from the right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab transform out of our effects and presets. I transform onto our freeze frame layer. I'm gonna toggle the motion blur and go to the end of the freeze frame layer and toggle the position and the scale. I'm gonna go to the beginning and we're just gonna move them all the way to the right and I'm going to scale them up a little bit. I'm going to go down here to the effects transform and highlight these keyframes, right click keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Now playing that back, that's already pretty clean. We have our subject sliding in from the right. And some people would just leave it here. And I mean, you can throw that in your music video. There is some other saws we can throw on top of this just to make it a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer with Control D. So now with this duplicated freeze frame layer, we're going to open that up. 
and we're going to go to the mask and we're actually just going to go ahead and delete that. Next, we're going to grab motion tile and throw that on top. Make sure you put it on top of transform. Otherwise, it will not work. And we're just going to increase the output width to around 200. And then we're going to go ahead and mirror the edges. Next, we're going to drag this layer and put it beneath both of your other freeze frame layers. So now it is at the bottom and we want it to kind of fade in. So we're going to go to this freeze frame of Babytron, the clip that we were transitioning from. Going to go ahead and open that up, go to the transform, go to the beginning and keyframe the opacity. Then we're going to drag all the way to the end and set the opacity to zero. I'm going to go ahead, right click and easy ease them. Now playing that back, the background kind of fades out and that looks really cool. And the last thing that we want to do is kind of animate. So baby Tron gets pushed out to the left. I'm going to go ahead and drag motion tile onto this freeze frame layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag a transform in a keyframe, the position, the scale and the rotation. I'm going to set the motion tile to mirror the edges and make the output height and width both around 200. Next, I'm going to go into my clip to where Babytron is barely visible and I'm going to adjust his position to the left. I'm going to rotate him and I'm going to make him a little bit smaller and maybe move him up and drag these to the frame where he finally disappears. Right click and easy ease them. I'm actually going to have them get pushed further to the left. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire finished transition right there. These freeze frame transitions are super versatile and you guys can really just throw them anywhere in your music video. But yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go ahead and join the Mission Productions Discord. I'll have it linked in the description. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Later.